Every year to ask their powerful father to bring on the wet season storms. During the build-up, the air over Kakadu becomes superheated. It rises fast to create some of the tallest thunderstorms on Earth. Some of these storm cells reach 18 kilometers in height. But they only produce short localized showers not enough to cool the place. It's a sauna. Only the monsoon will bring relief to the wildlife and people of Kakadu. At the Bureau of Meteorology in Darwin, Joel Lisenby is following the progression of this year's monsoon. Probably the most defining aspect of the monsoon is it's a large-scale storm that changes the weather across the top end quite a bit when it sets in. The monsoon is, is big. The monsoon is what brings enough rain to fill the billabongs till the, till the next wet season. We usually expect the monsoon around the last week of December. Um, this year, for various reasons, the wet season has been delayed, and we expect uh, later this week and into next week, it'll be very dry. You'll get almost no rain. But right now, we're sitting uh, within the bottom 20% of the historical average. It's been almost like the buildup that never left. A delayed monsoon is bad news for Kagadu. If there's one season you don't want prolonged, it's the buildup. The buildup is hot and it's sticky and it's humid and very uncomfortable for a lot of people. So many things depend on that heavy rainfall in December and January and, and February, and they're just waiting for the thick cloud to set in. The unbearable heat can make people go tropo. For a lot of people, it, it's, it's hard to deal with. It, it can make a person go crazy. <laughs> Up here, they call it mango madness. Hopeless, incurable. Yeah. <laughs> night after night, the sky cracks with electricity. And by morning, the night's fury is gone without a trace. Well, almost. Last night's thunderstorm rocked Tom Finlay's stone masonry business in Darwin. His loose interpretation of Venus de Milo has just been struck by a bolt from the blue. So I did a statue on the Venus de Milo, but I gave her more of a motherly territory look. Um, I made her look like she was carrying some weight and had her breasts sort of hanging to one side. And obviously God wasn't happy with that. like a bazooka or missile or something and it looked like suspended emanation when the, the bolt actually hit the top of the thing. And the only thing that survived of the statue was the uh, breasts here, but as you can see, we only had one damaged nipple. Lucky girl. <laughs>